Good morning, legends and super legends. Elder here. This morning, I just wanted to do a video talking about the safety of carbon wheels. I don't know if any of you guys saw that. I noticed that I've been doing some of these videos for the Tirreno Adriatico stage race. And I didn't do stage one for you guys because at the time I wasn't comfortable with the service. Once I got that ironed out, I started rolling the stages out there. And I went back and looked at stage one time trial and there's a wheel that just disintegrated. Now granted the circumstances appear to be such that the tubular tire rolled off and, and then the wheel I guess made contact with the pavement, but it crumpled like a pretzel. And so it raised concerns about the safety of these wheels because you know, come on man, we're paying $3,000 for a set of wheels or more and the tire rolls off and it just disintegrates, that's it? So yeah, you know, the guy granted was not seriously hurt, but he's all, you know, road rashed up and so forth. And then the commentators I found kind of annoying. I will let you guys listen to the thing. That's why I'm doing this ahead of time. Is that Daniel Lloyd is one of the commentators. He's a former writer and he still writes today. But for him to just dismiss it that, oh, the, the tire stuck. You know, so what if something ha happens to the tire? Your wheel just supposed to disintegrate? What if that happened on your car? I mean, come on. You know, we got to hold these people accountable. They're rolling out all these fancy products, charging us a lot of money. It needs to be safe. So I want you guys to watch this video, put your comments, your questions below, and let's get the discussion rolling. So, you know, watch your dollars. Don't be buying these things. They jump that they claim will make you go faster. If you, You're not going to be going very fast if you're on the pavement. Looking at another monitor, and one of the Sky Riders has just gone down and pretty heavy. What's happened to that wheel? Yeah, it looks he's like he's rolled the, the tire. Well, the wheel's off. just collapsed. He's okay. He's going to get back on and complete the race. But there it is, and that's a moment where it just rips, in, rips into. Well, uh, rather than a wheel failure, I just wonder whether the going to complete the race. But there it is, and that's a moment where it just rips, in, rips into. Well, uh, rather than a wheel failure, I just wonder whether the tubular tire, which is stuck onto the wheel, came off. came off and That's got stuck. That's what I stuck. thought at first, because it was so separate from the rim. I wondered whether that had rolled off and exposed uh, the carbon of the rim to the, yeah, and to I the guess, tarmac, and that made it fail. Yeah, and also perhaps that the, uh, the tubular tire got stuck. The tubular tire got stuck, yeah. That's that's the uh, concession that two of the tire got stuck, so my my rim should disintegrate like a pretzel. Yeah, right. I mean, come on, man. Daniel Lloyd is commentating. He's one of the GCN guys. He raced for years. How would he feel if that happened to his wheel while he was on the bike? You know, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's getting pretty ridiculous. They keep rolling out all this junk, and then it, they're not even testing the thing. Carbon has a problem when it touches asphalt. Come on, man. Maybe it shouldn't be a wheel. Think about that.